Many authors, performers, and artists have been candid about their experiences with bipolar disorder. Extreme mood and energy swings are a defining feature of the chronic mental health disease known as bipolar disorder. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be talking about celebrities with a bipolar disorder. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can do so by clicking here. Many famous people have publicly admitted to having bipolar disorder. They contribute to raising awareness of the condition by disclosing their journeys. Let's begin with our list. Halsey Famous American singer Halsey wrote the songs for her next album, Manic, while she was experiencing a manic episode. In a conversation about bipolar disorder on YouTube's Artist Spotlight Stories, Halsey writes, The album Manic for me was a celebration, because for a long time, I had really fought with my mania. She recalls feeling careless and unreliable, and that she had a million ideas and couldn't get any of them done during that time. She claims that she wished to reconcile herself with this manic side of herself. She began listing her positive traits. I create my most delicate art when I'm manic. I'm at my most sympathetic then. It's the self that has given me everything I possess. The making of this record included nearly drafting her a love letter. She claims that giving them a location to start the conversation was the goal of everything. Russell Brand English comedian, actor, radio host, and YouTuber Russell Brand is renowned for his outrageous actions and shocking humor. Brand has frequently spoken publicly about his history of substance abuse, self-harm, and mental illness. He had a binge eating issue as a child, but only received treatment for depression despite exhibiting mania symptoms. Brand has conquered a severe substance use disorder despite being expelled from multiple schools and arrested frequently. Brand is a strong advocate for drug recovery and mental health in the public eye today. Catherine Zeta-Jones Welsh actress Catherine Zeta-Jones is best recognized for her parts in The Mask of Zorro, Entrapment, and Chicago. She disclosed her diagnosis of bipolar disorder in 2011 and has since been a vocal proponent of eradicating the stigma associated with mental illness. Catherine admitted herself into a hospital for a five-day stay to receive therapy for her mental health symptoms after a demanding year helping her husband, Michael Douglas, through his throat cancer treatment. She told InStyle magazine, I'm not the kind who likes to shout out my difficulties from the rooftops, but now that my bipolar disorder has become public, I hope other patients will realize it is manageable. I'm hoping to help dispel any negative connotations. Kanye West Kanye West is a well-known rapper, hip-hop musician, record producer, and fashion designer, who now officially goes by the moniker, Ye. West was given a bipolar disorder diagnosis and admitted to a mental health facility in 2016. West has drawn interest and criticism for his erratic conduct and social media statements over the past few years. West revealed that his mania can cause racing thoughts, impatience, sleep loss, paranoia, or psychosis, as a guest on David Letterman's Netflix series, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. When you're in this state, everything makes you hyper-paranoid. Everything is a plot, West said. You feel like the administration is planting mental stumbling blocks. You think someone is watching you. You experience each of these. Selena Gomez Selena Gomez is a well-known American actress and singer. In April 2020, she first revealed her bipolar disorder on Miley Cyrus's bright-minded Instagram Live event. Gomez discussed her relief following the diagnosis in an interview with Elle magazine, saying, I felt a great weight lifted off me when I found out. I could exhale deeply and say, okay, it explains so much, she said. In an interview with ABC News, Gomez discusses how she has learnt to cope with her bipolar disorder. I take the appropriate action. I go to a therapist, and like a nerd, I have a ton of workbooks. I compose music, I do my best to take what's happening and transform it into something lovely. Kurt Cobain Kurt Cobain was the principal singer, guitarist, and primary songwriter for the grudge rock band Nirvana. According to his cousin Beverly Cobain, a certified nurse and mental health specialist, he had ADHD as a child and was subsequently given a bipolar illness diagnosis. As Kurt probably knew, 
Managing bipolar disorder can be very challenging, and getting the correct diagnosis is essential. Unfortunately for Kurt, adhering to the recommended course of treatment is equally crucial, Beverly said. Cobain committed suicide in 1994 after years of battling depression and a substance use issue. Mariah Carey The five-octave vocal range of Mariah Carey, a singer and songwriter, is likely what makes her most well-known. Carey has 18 number one hits and has sold more than 200 million records. According to her spokesperson, Carey was hospitalized in 2001 for an emotional and physical collapse and later received a bipolar disorder diagnosis. Carey, however, claims that, at the time, she didn't want to accept the diagnosis. After battling through some highly challenging years, according to Carey, she ultimately sought treatment. In 2018, Carey admitted to People, For a very long time, I felt I had a horrible sleep condition. I wasn't lying awake counting sheep, albeit it wasn't your typical case of sleeplessness. Working nonstop was what I was doing. I was irritated and constantly worried that I would let people down. It turns out I was going through a manic phase. She eventually hit a wall, according to Carrie. I believe having very little energy was a feature of my depression spells. I would experience intense loneliness, melancholy, and guilt over not doing more for my career. Vincent Van Gogh Dutch post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh later became one of the most significant figures in Western art history. Most of his work was completed in his final two years of life. In 1888, after a disagreement with his friend and fellow artist Paul Gauguin, van Gogh famously chopped off his own ear. Most experts concur that van Gogh probably suffered psychotic episodes at various points in his life. A symposium of 35 psychiatrists, psychologists, neurologists, and art historians was organized in 2016 at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam to discuss Van Gogh's potential diagnosis. The specialists examined his writings, artwork, and personal documents, where he had recorded many of his mental health issues. Many specialists think that Van Gogh may have had bipolar disorder, since he allegedly went through high vitality and production phases that were frequently followed by depressive spells and severe exhaustion. Ernest Hemingway American novelist, short story, and journalist Ernest Hemingway was also a journalist. Despite his global popularity, Hemingway struggled with melancholy, alcoholism, and mental health issues, which may have contributed to his suicide in 1961. To shed light on Hemingway's mental health, Psychiatrist Christopher D. Martin published research in 2006 based on his medical files, letters, and other materials. Hemingway exhibited bipolar disorder symptoms and potentially borderline and narcissistic personality traits, probably made worse by his heavy drinking. Mel Gibson Actor, director, and producer Mel Gibson is best known for playing action heroes in films like Braveheart and The Patriot. In the 2008 documentary, Acting Class of 1977, Gibson disclosed that he had been given a bipolar disorder diagnosis. Gibson admitted, I experienced some pretty highs and some intense lows. Gibson has had several notoriously out loud outbursts of wrath, such as his drunken driving incident in 2006, where he publicly yelled anti-Semitic slurs that he subsequently claimed were blurted out in a moment of insanity. A severe mental health condition known as bipolar disorder is marked by many mood and energy swings and reasoning impairment. The condition has been found in many creative persons. With the proper care, these people may control their symptoms, carry on working, and produce creative works of music, movies, and art. And that's all for this video. We'll be back real soon with another informative video just for you. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Until next time!